Hello, I'm Christopher from b &A. This video looks at three ways to mount bicycles when you only have a compact space, such as in my workshop. Firstly, we'll have a look at hooks, which can be purchased for only a few dollars from a hardware store. Then we'll have a look at the clug, which is quite a small but very, very compact mounting solution. And the steady rack, a robust unit, but may also present some advantages. So let's take a look. Hooks are a fantastic solution because they don't cost very much and you can easily get them from hardware stores in many different shapes and forms. I'd always recommend looking for a hook with a type of plastic coating like this one here because that will help protect the rim where the bicycle usually hangs. Now, you could hang your bicycles from, for example, the ceiling or the roof or from the side. Now, hooks also come with disadvantages. Usually, it's a lot more fiddly, both in setting up planning, but also getting bikes on and off. Typically, you'd hang the bike and have the complete weight from the hook itself, rather than having the bike resting on the floor and using the hook, because that tends to be a little bit fiddly. Now, the disadvantage with that is that it means that the bicycle, the entire load, is carried by one point in the rim, which for expensive bicycles or over the long term may not be that great. Nonetheless, if you have the time and the patience, hooks can be quite a good solution to suit your needs. This is the clug. It's a very elegant, device for mounting your bicycle on the wall. It costs around $30 and works quite smartly by rolling the bike up to the wall and just simply locking it into place. This means that the clug is not actually load-bearing, rather it just holds the wheel and bicycle into place and all the load or weight goes to the floor. Now it has some advantages, being very very simple and very compact, also quite nice to look at. But also a major disadvantage is that it relies on the wheel being pumped up as it clips over the top. Now although you can get different sizes for different bicycles, I've found that in my case, if I left a bicycle a little bit longer and didn't pump it up, I may come back and find the bicycle have fallen out because the tyre had deflated and had just fallen out. So in this case it wasn't a good long term solution, so do consider that, however as a quite a simple to use and mount solution, a really nice solution indeed. Although the steady rack is quite robust, it sits quite flat against the wall as well. So when you're ready to use it, pull this down and simply roll the bicycle over. With this little lip here, it can easily roll into place, so not much force or strength is required to get it on or off. When the bicycle is on, it's suspended probably about 75 millimeters, just a small distance above the ground. And that also helps activate that second little feature of being able to swing the system around. So in my case, being able to swing it around enables me to access my workbench and my working space much more easily and just to create the space by moving and swinging the bikes around without removing them completely. So we've had a look at hooks as an option for mounting bikes, a very affordable and good solution. I've used these a lot, for example, in the garages for mounting computer bikes, and I like these as well. However, for these bikes, it's not an option because it means hanging them by the rim, and I didn't want to do that. I've moved over to using the clug as the next option, and although it's an elegant and compact solution, I found two challenges. It's not a particularly robust mount, so it means that if you knock the bike, it could fall out. But even more so, if the tyre deflates, that also means that the bike could fall out of its own accord, and you can return and find a bike on the ground, which is not a nice thing to find. So I moved over to the steady rack. 
We did a review on BNA of the Steady Rack last year, and you'll find the link below in the description. And even though they're quite expensive, I went out and purchased some of these, and I found that they're a very, very robust unit, and the swing arm means I can get the access to my workbench, and that means it's quite a usable solution for me. So the solution that you need will depend on your situation and setup. Obviously the bike hooks are very affordable, so a very attractive option, but I also find that the steady rack is, despite the price, a very, very robust and suitable option. I hope this video has helped you further. So if you subscribe, you might find some more useful videos come up on your notifications. Otherwise, happy cycling.